up everyone welcome to the show please like today's episode and subscribe for more coverage on all your wwe news the article is from wrestlinginc.com links in the description for you guys below i did my thing about bray wyatt with the microphone today if you want to go check it out it'll be up there um just want you guys know i am new to it you know, it's my first time using this thing, so you guys are going to have to bear with me. Give, give me some time to break this in for me here because I've never done this before, so I'm new to it. So I'm going to break it in, learn more about it, you know, like how to use the microphone and stuff. I know how to use it, but for like, I don't want to have it too close to me, you know. I got to learn how to do all that stuff. So just bear with me, guys, but I am going to be using it a little bit more just on and off. So, but it is going to be used more, so. Let's get into the WWE news. WWE pay-per-view events are going to be running longer. Now it appears future WWE pay-per-view events will be going past 11 p.m. And not just WrestleMania. Well, you guys all know, you know, every WrestleMania, it's always four hours. WrestleMania always goes past 11 you know they start wrestlemania always starts early so what i'm thinking of if they're going if they're going to be going past 11 does that mean the pay-per-views are going to be starting at 8 and they're going to go past 11 but WWE has told sky italia i think it's italia sky sports put it that way to start res reserving extra time for pay-per-view events at the direction of those shows will vary. So they want to go past four hours. They want to go past 11 o'clock. Which, there can be positive to this and there could be a negative to this. Okay? If they're going to go past 11 o'clock, WWE, their pay-per-views, I'm not talking about WrestleMania because we know WrestleMania goes past you know, goes four hours. You know, sometimes they do go past 11 o'clock. A lot of times they don't. But if WWE, the regular pay-per-views, if they're going to go past 11 o'clock, then they got to bring more matches for us. Because on pay-per-views, we only get like five, we only get like six matches on the card. That's it. We only get six or seven matches, you know, from 8 to like 10.40. Okay, we don't get a we don't usually get a good show sometimes, but I think Money in the Bank is gonna be a good show this year. I think we're gonna have a good pay per view for Money in the Bank. Now, like I said, if they're gonna make these things longer, they gotta make more matches. For instance, I'm gonna go back in time here. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab something. SummerSlam '99. Okay, you had about nine matches on this pay-per-view. I counted. You had nine matches on this pay-per-view. I don't know how long they went, but you had nine matches. So if you're going to make this pay-per-view go longer, past 11 o'clock, you got to make more matches then. You got to have at least nine or ten, nine or ten matches if you're going to take this show to go longer, past 11 o'clock. But then you got to think about the kids who have to go to school, people who got to go to work, people who have to go to college the next day. You got to think about the fans as well. So this could be a good idea. There's a 50-50, there's a positive thing about this. There's a negative, people. I mean, negative on it. Maybe a lot of people don't want to have this happen. Maybe a lot of people do want to happen. I know the brand extension is coming, so maybe that's why Triple H wants to do it because the brand extension is coming. And, you know, a lot of people are going to be coming up from NXT, you know, so they're going to, the roster is going to be a little bit bigger for Raw and SmackDown, so now, like, well, the brand extension is coming, so let's make the pay-per-views go past 11 now, since we're going to have more superstars, you know, on Raw and more people on SmackDown. If you guys want to go do my, see my draft, my mock draft, it's up there, go check it out for yourself, on the people that I would, that I want on Raw and on SmackDown. So, but what do you guys think about this whole situation about them going longer on their pay-per-views? Do you disagree with it? Do you agree with it? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Until then, I'll see you on the next show. Subscribe.